Hi, I'm David Barber, Distinguished AI Scientist at UiPath and Director of the Centre for AI at University College London. I'd like to talk now about some of the recent advances in the AI space, particularly around agentic AI and the role it plays in enterprise automation. AI agents are machine learning and AI systems that can take actions in the world. So, for example, you might want to solve a particular problem, like, say, booking a flight from A to B. Now, in order to do that, the agent actually needs to go out there and talk to people, take actions to actually carry out that task. So you can think about an AI agent as part of the so-called perception, action and reasoning cycle. They perceive, for example, they listen to the, the task or the question that we have. They might take an action and then depending on how the world responds, they might change their decisions. So, for example, in that booking case, it might depend upon whether or not the flights are actually available. And then the system will then go through a cycle, the so-called perception, action and reasoning cycle, and eventually it will complete the task. AI agents are somewhat different from previous AI systems because previously we are very much used to the idea that you know you have a, a kind of simple problem, like say a prediction, and the machine learning system or the AI system makes that prediction for you. But in this case, actually the AI system in the agentic sense takes an action for you as well. And that's very different, right? So we don't necessarily know how the world will respond to that action. So the machine has to think very deeply about what action it's going to take. And then depending on what the response of the real world is, it might then change its decision after that. So this kind of interaction with the world is very different from the way the previous AI systems were used. The role of AI in agentic automation, it really essentially enables us to carry out much more complicated tasks than we would have been able to do otherwise. So let me give you an example. I think most people are familiar with large language models, LLMs. And we're very used to the idea of prompting an LLM to, to do something like write an email. That's fine. But if you ask the LLM something like, well, you know, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Then the LLM, of course, itself doesn't know this. But what you could do is if the LLM is smart enough, it can recognize that it could call a tool like a weather forecasting tool, something external to the LLM itself and then get the information from that tool to answer the question to you. So this idea of tool calling is actually very powerful. And if the LLM or the agent has access to a whole collection of tools and can decide a plan of how to use those tools in order to solve the problem, then that's obviously a very, very powerful system. Now in the agentic loop, what's going to happen is that the machine might plan something, might say, okay, using this collection of tools that I have available, I can figure out maybe what the first step might be. I need to go, for example, to this particular website and to carry out an action. But the real world might then say, well, actually, this isn't possible, for example. You might say, well, the weather's going to be bad tomorrow. Therefore, maybe you shouldn't book the hotel tomorrow. Maybe you need to wait until the next day. So the response from the real world will actually change then the action that the LLM or the agent will take for its next decision. But iteratively, you can then use this tool calling to eventually solve the, the challenge or the task that you have at hand. Well, AI agents themselves, they, of course, don't know, know everything, right? So they have a limited capabilities. But also think about a problem like uh, maybe a very simple one, like a calculation. Now, in principle, you could ask a large language model to add, say, two numbers together. And if you're lucky, you'll get the right answer. But alternatively, why not just use a calculator? You know, it doesn't really make much sense to rely upon the sort of generic capabilities of large language models when you have these highly specialized tools that in principle could actually answer the question very, very easily. So what you really want is that these AI agents can recognize when they themselves don't have the specialized knowledge or capabilities and simply call those tools to answer the questions. So if you can do that collaboratively by, say, the LLM recognizing which tools are available and how to call them in which sequence in order to answer the question, then you're much more likely to get an accurate response for the task at hand.